Let's take this penny farthing to the next level. Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I'm once again back on the penny farthing. But to make things a little bit more exciting, I've decided to bring the Paramotor petrol blade blowing speed maker along to put on my back and go absolutely as fast as possible. But before we do that, we're going to need to do a few modifications to make this just that little bit safer, but still horribly dangerous. So what I want to do is actually take off the cranks and put foot pegs there. So when I'm going flat out, I don't have to keep pedaling. Because as you can see, you can't, it doesn't have a free coaster, you see? So you have to always pedal. And if you didn't see the last video on this, you should search it on my channel because it was actually the most fun ever. But probably not as fun as going 40 miles an hour on it. So let's get the toolbox out, get rid of them little uh, crank arms. Bit of that. One off. And the next one. So my plan is to put some BMX stump pegs on. Obviously, this is still going to spin because it's circular and my feet will probably be wet from the grass. It shouldn't be that much of a problem. Might be different at 40 miles an hour, but that's something we'll have to find out about, isn't it? Okay, let me just see if that's going to work. They spin while the wheel spins, but I think... Oh, it's fine. Like my feet move slightly, but that's incredible. <laughs> and there's so much space here, so I can just put that thing on properly and then but if the throttle locks on like they're prone to do, that people mentioned to me, there's literally no way of stopping because this brake doesn't work. well serviced as you can see <laughs> oh my god it's so ready i'm so scared now can you just pull that a sec finally oh that's so powerful though. cool so we just sit into this oh my god this is like so exciting yeah <laughs> Also so difficult to do. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I just can't remember. Was it this YOLO before? I think, so. I think I'm just actually scared now because it's on a penny farthing. Right, so I'm just gonna do one test now, which is how I'm gonna actually get up on and then go, you know? Cause I'm gonna need a bit of speed. Oh my God, it's so perfect. Cause it's completely level, isn't it? Right, start this then. We can just absolutely just pure doomage. God, the brake doesn't work at all. People are wondering what's happening. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's me! Oh, yeah! Oh! Oh, it's so scary to go fast because Full braking now. Oh, that is so, so deaf. Have we just created the most insane sport ever? Oh, oh. oh. let's clean some leaves.
that first test went great so we want to do it again i want to get a little slow motion shot so we're going to try a little flyby under that low tree there we'll try it in norms first and then you move and then i'll come towards you wide open like obscene but let's give it a go anyway get this on here we go then let's get going My goodness, the brakes move. Right, let's try and go under that bit of tree then. Oh, it's so fast down there. Wow, these brakes don't work at all. That is terrifying. That was me braking since the tree. Right, let's switch that then, slow-mo under there. That's too much, actually. That is so horrible. Like, that was me fully on the brakes, and they did nothing. They're so warm, them little rims are boiling. And it started down there then, while I didn't want to come back fast, it started to keep going when I wasn't pushing the throttle. Imagine, you can't even put your feet on the floor. You'd, fizz, you'd actually go 80 miles an hour into a tree. That, that's just... <sighs> we want to go over this way to the more open middle of the field, so we want to get like that classic fly-by shock it's gonna look well funny and just normal normal speed normal sound it'll be like ah, the doppler effect <laughs> out of fuel we just just run out of fuel there I didn't want to have it completely full in case I like crash and blow up. So we're going to go back home, put a little bit more in and get that flyby shot. Cause that's just, that's what I really want and need. Right, we finally got some more fuel. We've come to a new field that I can go even faster in. I need to put wet on my feet here so they go better when they're stood on the pegs. Let's get that flyby shot then, Louis. Look how clear and good. It's actually got a full runway down here. Let's get this baby in the air. Every bump on the, like, I couldn't, I can't go flat out on this bike. It just doesn't work. The frame is bending so much over the, like, look. Look at that. If that just goes a little too much, it's gonna snap, and that's gonna power me into the floor. This has got too much now. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's terrifying. There's no brakes, look. They've completely worn away. Like the rim has now like got all like rubber melted to it. So they don't work at all. This thing keeps like slightly locking on. So I'm just waiting for it to like fully lock and then end of life. It had to happen though, didn't it? I mean, this is so ridiculous. Penny farthing versus the paramotor. It's still alive though. So we can use this thing again in the future. If you, have, if you guys have any cool ideas where we can take the penny farthing, then let us know. But on that bombshell of absolute fun, excitement, biking, paramotors, and the penny farve, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments and we see if you subscribe. See you in the next one. To the sky.